Good afternoon folks. Today's project is about installing these tires and wheels. They fit pretty nice. They're uh, they're like uh, reproduction Corvette rally wheels. Uh, I haven't bought the center caps yet, but I will. Got some uh, Mastercraft tires, which I think are pretty decent. Got those put on there, the 255-6015s. I think they'll be work good for driving around an old car on. And I'm going to show how I install them. So, here's the wheel on the front here without the fender. Of course, it, you, that doesn't tell you anything. The other side tells you something. Here's the other rear wheel. Um, I have adjustable QA1 upper arms on this. So until the full weight of the car is on and I set my pinion angle and the center of the rear end, this side seems to have a little more room than the other. Sometimes the uh, body has to be shifted too because the body was taken off to replace all the body mounts and I don't know yet whether I'll have to do that But here it is So if if people find it in their heart, please uh, click the subscribe button. I try to provide information as best I can She's coming along. This is what I bought for wheels, which are just uh, reproduction uh, rally wheels I haven't bought the center caps yet, but I plan to and uh, I will not be buying the trim rings. I don't care for the trim rings, but I like the center caps. Those look nice. Those I'll order next. I got these from Jags. They're 15 by 8, and uh, looks like they'll fit okay. Uh, we shall see once the tires are on, and uh, on to the next step. Here's the tires I bought. They're 255-60s, uh, 15 inch. Uh, they're just Mastercraft Avengers. I think they'll be pretty good tires for regular driving. These aren't race tires, but they're they're good cruising tires and they're good size. I got them from a place called Tire Skater out of uh, Texas. Uh, they were good. The price was right and uh, the delivery was was very good. So um, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, grease around the rims there so that it'll slide on better and uh, see how it goes. Okay, so I have the rim on here getting ready to put the valve stem in. Something I like to do because you don't want to scratch a brand new rim is uh, I had this piece of scrap wafer board here that I put just like that. This star thing, you know, I don't want it scratching up the wheel if I can help it. Put this on here. The next thing I found that makes it easier to seal it seals here when you're first inflating the tire before then it finally pops and comes down here and of course it seals here you got to put grease around here to get it to give you a little bit of a seal and you got to put grease around here and then that way when you're trying to get it to pump up it will do so i had one i spent about 15 minutes fighting with it to get it to pump up and the answer wound up being that Okay, folks, this here is my uh, Harbor Freight tire mounting tool. Um, as you can see, I added on this wooden structure, and I'm going to explain how that works. Um, it helps out a lot, especially if your tires are cold. Like last winter, I was putting on snow tires in the cold, and the rubber is really stiff. This helps you to put the tire on without fighting until you cry. And um, it makes it easier on a warm day, too. So I'll show that as I go, but I thought I'd give a good picture of it in case somebody chose to copy it. Maybe out of steel so it looked nicer. Okay, here's how it wound up being on this tire insulation. I pressed it down some to make sure it's below that. I used this to push it that way. Then I could stretch it around without breaking a belt or something. But I don't know that I'm strong enough to break a belt. I know one of the proper powered machines at the tire store can, if the guy doesn't know what he's doing. I've had one do that to me before. <laughs> Come out and said, oh, you have a broken belt. <laughs> yeah, how'd it happen? But anyway, it's on there, and now it's the next step to get this thing inflated. Okay, what you do first is you push it down, get it seated against that spot that it's supposed to seat against down there. Make sure that that's in good shape. Then you put your air on 
and hopefully the bottom part stays put while you pull this up against this. And that's where the swearing starts sometimes. Uh, probably most of the time it's probably the truth, right? It's taking air. I've heard a couple of pops. Now it's just going to take it a minute to pump the tire up. Okay. So there it is. It's, it's seated. Okay, there's the fourth tire on. So that mission is accomplished. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out is these clip-on air chucks. This was only like 5 or $6 at Walmart. And that's a good thing to have. Because you can see, being able to clip it on and use both hands to manipulate the tire to get it to seat is a, is a handy thing and another thing that I wanted to point out is uh, I use 255 tires and 8 inch wide rims now these tires will fit on 7 inch wide rims as well and uh, they'll be a bit easier to seat on a narrower rim but as you can see it works and so I don't know which is better as far as handling and contact patch or anything like that. I'm told the wider rim is the way to go, so I did. But for those that may not want to fight or they already own some 7 inch wide rims, these will fit on 7 inch wide rims. Okay, there it is. Okay, here's the tire installed on the left rear of the car, of course. It appears that we have clearance out here. We're not too bad. And inside, it's a little bit on the dark side. Let me get a flashlight. Okay. Up in here we have lots and lots of clearance. I'm going to uh, shine the light better here, but there it is. There's lots and lots of clearance inside. And there is enough clearance on the outside. So, you know, I may have... I may skinny that up, that lip up a little bit, but I don't know that I will very much because it doesn't look like it's going to hit. But we shall see. As you can see, there's some body work that needs to be done there anyway, so it's not a virgin quarter panel. So I could skinny that up without feeling too guilty. So 255 60s fit on the back nicely. It's a four and a quarter inch back spacing. So if you wanted more back spacing, you know, to get it to, you could do that, but this will work. So there it is. Okay, here's the tire on the uh, passenger side front. Looking at it here, I think I got pretty decent clearance here. Right there and around. This is, uh, it's setting on blocks, but it's, it's, the springs are holding the car up. It's not blocked up higher. Um, on the front as you can see at the back. I have jack stand under there, but so This won't be precisely accurate until the car is completely done obviously and all everything is installed, but It looks to me like I have good clearance and on the inner side. I have more clearance than this so um, So the answer to me is 255 60s do fit this car and uh, four and a quarter inch back spacing works so if anybody else has an A-body, this fender is not adjusted, but it's close to where it's going to be. So whoever else has an A-body, these will fit. 